Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So uh, This time this video is for The lesson uh, in week 2 Okay uh, We will learn the subtopic of Limits at infinity Okay If the value of x Where x is the Independent variable Okay When x increase indefinitely Okay Indefinitely it means that the value of x approach positive infinity so we can it can be written as lim uh, sorry it can be written as limit x tends to positive infinity okay if x the value of x increase indefinitely okay uh, it means that uh, the value of x approach positive infinity Okay, whereas if the value of x decrease, decrease indefinitely, it means that the value of x approach negative infinity. Okay, we can write it as x limit x approach negative infinity for certain function. Okay. For example, we have uh, the graph of f of x equals 1 over x square okay so the graph looks like this okay this is the x axis and y axis okay this is the graph for a uh, uh, function of 1 over x square so from this graph we can see this graph increase and decrease indefinitely on the right side right hand side and on and on the left hand side of the x axis respectively so uh, we can also see that as this happens the value of this function approach zero okay therefore we can write the limit as x tends to positive infinity for this function k1 over x square it is equal to what is the answer okay you can see in this graph uh, we want to know uh, when x approach positive infinity so what will happen with this function so where is x uh, tends to infin uh, positive infinity k okay, to the right side okay yang ke kanan Okay, so what thing at kat sini, uh, when x approach positive infinity, ke, semakin x ke kanan ke positive infinity, okay, here the value of x, uh, let's say here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on until positive infinity. Okay, you can see here as x approach positive infinity this graph will approach the value of zero at y axis okay so the answer for limit x tends to positive infinity for this function is equal to zero okay what will happen if we set limit ten x tends to negative infinity Okay, for the same function okay so what is the answer okay so from this graph okay where is uh, x tends to negative infinity so negative infinity means the graph tends to the left uh, left hand side okay uh, for example here is negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 until here is negative infinity Okay, so as the value of x approaches negative infinity, you can see this graph will be right here. It is approaches 0. So, the answer will be 0. Okay, let's we take a look at another example. This is example 1.24 from the textbook. Okay, want to find the value of limit x tends to infinity 
or the function of x square plus 2x minus 1. For this question, we are going to substitute the infinity symbol into x. Okay, so it will become limit x approach uh, infinity and then, uh, sorry, so we will not uh, write the limit again because we are substitute, substituting the uh, uh, the variable x so no need to write limit again so it will become uh, infinity square plus 2 times infinity minus 1 so it will become infinity you can see that this expression becomes uh, x square uh, sorry infinity square and 2 infinity since the infinity symbol means an indefinitely larger number, okay, so large number uh, indefinitely, okay, so the expression of infinity square and 2 times infinity means an even larger number. Okay, infinity kan nombor yang sangat sangat banyak kan, ter, tak terhingga. So, kalau kita square kan dia, so dia akan jadi dua kali tak terhingga lah. Ataupun kalau kita darabkan dengan 2, dia akan jadi 2 kali yang tak terhingga. So, it means an even larger number. So, we can simply the expression to become infinity. Also, if uh, if you happen to see this expression uh, somewhere, for example, infinity minus 1. Okay. So, it means that uh, the indefinitely larger number minus with 1. So, it also will can be simplified as infinity. Okay. Infinity nombor yang tak terhingga tapi tolak satu je. So, dia masih lagi jadi infinity. Okay. So, since the value of limit of this function equals to infinity. Okay. So, this problem is called an infinite limit. Okay, before we continue with our topic, let's take a look at another example. This is uh, from example 1.25 from our textbook. Okay, limit extends to 1. X minus 1. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, this is the example of a uh, question about limit that we had learned uh, last week. Okay. So, this method we had uh, learned it, uh, in our tutorial class last week. So, if we try to solve this question, we will get a limit x tends to 1. So, x square minus 1. Uh, sorry, we just substitute the variable with 1. So, 1 square minus 1, 1 minus 1. So, it will become 0 over 0. Where, if you uh, use your calculator, the answer will be math error. So, uh, this answer is called as in the indeterminate form indeterminate indeterminate form okay because we cannot determine the answer either it is integer or infinity okay so you know that 0 divided by 0 is not equal to 0 and it is not equal to infinity and it is not equal to 1 so uh, as we learned uh, last week okay, so we have another alternative solution for solve this question okay what is the alternative solution we need to factorize okay factorize the expression x square minus 1 okay so we will factor it as x minus 1 and x plus 1 so and then we cancel out x minus 1 so it will become limit x tends to 1 okay, for the function of x plus 1 
And then we just substitute the variable x with 1. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So the answer will be equal to 2. Okay, the next example. In example 1.26. Okay, we want to find the value of limit x tends to infinity for the function of 2x plus 1. And then uh, divide by x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, when we solve this question, okay, uh, it means that if we direct substitute the variable x with infinity, we will get 2 times infinity plus 1 divided by infinity square plus 3 times infinity plus 2. So, the upper part will be 2 times infinity where it is infinity plus 1. So, the answer will be infinity. And the lower part is also the answer will be infinity. So this uh, for this answer we will get infinity divided by infinity. This is another indeterminate form. Okay, sama macam yang tadi. Indeterminate form. So each time if you do your solution about uh, question of limit and if you obtain an indeterminate form like this okay so we cannot determine the answer as either it is integer of infinity okay so there is an alternative solution okay for any question of limit having case like this okay because infinity divided by infinity is in indeterminate form Okay, some other indeterminate form include uh, 0 divided by 0. Okay, this is the in, in the, in the, sorry, in the indeterminate form. Okay, or uh, infinity minus infinity or 0 times infinity or if you get 0 uh, power of 0. Okay, this is all the indeterminate form. So for each of the solution, if you get the indeterminate form, you need to do an alternative solution. Okay, whether you need to factorize it or uh, conjugate, okay, or uh, use using squeezing theorem. But for the case like this, okay. Uh, I mean the case of limit in uh, x tends to infinity or limit at infinity. Okay, what you have to do is you need to divide each term in the function by the highest order. term in the denominator so you have to do this thing okay this method will be used if for any limit at infinity and we get the answer of indeterminate form. So we need to do this method. Okay, you have to divide each term in the function by the highest order in the highest order term in the denominator. Okay, meaning that the first uh, step is you you have to look at your denominator. So for this uh, function. Okay, our denominator is x square plus 3x plus 2. Denominator ni adalah lower part of fraction. Okay, denominator. So, you look at our denominator. What is the highest order of the term? Okay, so for this question, the, hi the highest order is order 2. Okay, x kuasa 2 kan? Kuasa 2 yang paling tinggi. Okay, order 2 is the highest order in our denominator. So, x 
square x square is the highest order in our denominator so all you need to do is you need to divide each term in the function each term all the terms on the upper part and the lower part with x square okay so our solution will be like this Okay, it will become limit x tends to infinity. Okay, all each of the terms we need to divide it with x square. So 2x divide with x square and also 1 divide with x square. x square divide by x square plus 3x divide by x square and plus 2 divide by x square. Okay. We divide all the terms in the nominator and denominator, both upper and lower uh, part of this fraction with x square, where x square is the highest order term in the denominator. Okay, if your highest order term in the denominator denominator is x power of three, okay, x cube. So you need to divide each term in the function with x cube. Okay, so this function will become limit at x tends to infinity. Okay, two. We need to simplify uh, all of these terms. Two over x, one over x square. One plus three over x plus two over x square. Okay. And okay, then if we recall example 1.23, okay, example 1.23 tadi kita tengok yang ni eh. Okay, ni example 1.23. Okay, this uh, this answer will lead to 0 and then limit x tends to negative infinity tadi eh. 1 over x square is also equal to 0. Tadi kita dah bincangkan kat example 1.23 tadi. Okay, so from here we can see that uh, for any function that uh, having this appearance, uh, I mean uh, we have we are having a function that the the upper the nominator is a scalar or real number, and the denominator is polynomial so whenever we having we are having a function like this and we apply limit x tends to infinity the answer will be zero so we can we want to apply the same concept to this question so if we apply the same concept it means that okay limit x tends to infinity for this function Okay, 2 divided by x. So, maksudnya 2 ni adalah real number and x is the polynomial. Okay, x sahaja eh. So, this term will be, will become 0. Okay. 0. Then plus, this term is also will become 0 because uh, it is a function, uh, a fraction and upper part is real number and lower part is uh, the x saja eh? x power of 1 x power 2 x power of 3 okay apa apa x yang ada power power of positive number so it will become zero okay same with the lower part of this fraction okay this term is also will become zero because it is in the fraction of the form of the the upper part is uh, a real number and the lower part is x power of any positive number okay and this part is also this term is also will be equal to zero so yang ni tak ada apa-apa lah dia jadi one sahaja so uh, the, our denominator will become one plus zero plus zero so it is equal to zero divided by one okay zero divided by one is equal to zero okay so this is 
the answer for this question. Okay, let's take a look at another example. In example 1.28 in your textbook, okay, limit tends to infinity for the function of x squared plus 2 square root divide by 3x minus 6 okay this is also uh, the example of question okay about limit x tends to infinity okay tends to infinity so if we direct substitute the variable x with infinity it will become x square uh, infinity square plus 2 and 3 infinity minus 6 so infinity infinity yang nombor yang infinity lah kan terlalu banyak kalau kita square kan 2 kali ganda dia masih jadi terlalu banyak terlalu banyak 2 kali ganda maksudnya infinity saja jugalah and then infinity plus 2 Okay, jadi infinity square root pun dia masih infinity and then the lower part of this fraction 3 uh, times with infinity it will become infinity and then minus 6 so it will become infinity so this is uh, the indeterminate form ok kalau tekan calculator akan jadi error so If we use the same previous method, okay, we need to divide each term in the function with the highest order in term in the denominator. So, look at our denominator, which is the lower part of this fraction, denominator. Okay, the highest order of our denominator is x power of 1. Okay, highest order dia adalah order of 1. So, we need to divide all the terms in the upper part and the lower part of the fraction with x power of 1 so we would write the solution like this okay, x square plus 2 divide by x okay and same with the uh, this term okay 3x divide by x and also 6 divided by x okay you look at uh, the the upper part of this fraction okay it is uh, it is in the form of square root so for square root you cannot uh, split the terms in the square root like this okay tak boleh jadi macam ni ataupun tak boleh jadi macam ni ok square root tak boleh kita pisahkan dia so all of terms in that square root ok x square plus 2 kita bahagikan semua sekali dengan x kita tak tak pisahkan dia macam ni ok ingat eh kalau ada fraction ataupun third uh, sorry bukan fraction ada third ada square root ada cube root tak boleh pisahkan dia kalau kita nak bahagi dengan something Okay, this process will be harder because of our nominator. Nominator tu ada square root. So, tengok kita selesaikan yang denominator dulu. Okay, the denominator will be, will become 3 minus 6 divided by x. Okay, how about our nominator? Okay, so saya... Uh, Contoh dekat tepi eh. Okay, nominator kita adalah x square plus 2 square root divide by divide by x. Okay. Oh, tengok yang bawah ni adalah x. Kita kena tukar x in the form of set. Kita nak jadikan dia set juga. x, x ni asalnya kuasa, kuasa berapa? Kuasa 1. x kuasa 1 kita kena jadikan dia set. Tapi kita masih tak tak menukar nilai x kuasa 1. Okay, kita tak boleh simply letak set macam ni. 
Sebab dia akan jadi X kuasa 1 per 2 Sebab asalnya tadi X kuasa 1 Tak boleh ubah value dia Dia X kuasa 1, X kuasa 1 lah Tak boleh ubah value Kita hanya nak ubah penampilan dia saja Tak ubah value So All we need to do is Awak tahu kan kalau any numbers uh, Contohnya number 3 ke Number 3 Kalau kita square root and then kita square kan dia Dia akan jadi 3 Okay kalau 1 over 4 Pun sama kalau kita square root kan And then kita square Akan jadi 1 over 4 kan Okay kalau kita square root dan square terus Dia akan jadi benda yang sama So sama juga macam tadi Okay, originally the uh, the value of x is x power of 1 tadi eh, x power of 1. So, kita buat macam ni. x Okay, kuasakan 2. Lepas tu square rootkan dia. Okay, x kuasa 2 square root. So, dia akan jadi the same value of x as the original one. Okay, same value tapi kita hanya Ubah penampilan dia saja, Letak square root dan square So uh, Kita dah tengok denominator and nominator Dah ada square root So bila dah ada square root Kita boleh gabungkan dia Okay Like this x square plus 2 Divide by x square Okay square root semua letak dekat luar Eh, sebab atas dengan bawah dah ada square root So kita terus letak semua sekali Square root kat luar X square plus 2 divided by X square Dekat dalam Okay So this uh, This expression kita tukar lah Untuk yang soalan ni tadi X square Plus 2 Divided by X square And then square root Okay. And then it will become limit x tends to infinity. Okay, x square divided by x square plus 2 divided by x square. Ah, yang ni kita boleh splitkan dia sebab semua sekali dah masuk dekat dalam uh, square root. Okay, tadi asalnya dekat sini kita tak boleh split kan. Okay, sebab X bawah ni belum ada square root. So, bila semua dah ada square root, kita boleh split kan jadi macam ni. Okay. And then it will become limit X tends to infinity. Okay. X square divided by X square is equal to 1. Okay. Plus 2 divided by X square. Square root. And then divide by 3 minus x, 6 power, uh, divided by x. Okay, which term yang akan jadi 0 based on example 1.23 tadi. Okay, kita refer back to example 1.23. Okay, yang tadi. Dia akan jadi 0 kalau atas tu adalah real number. And then bawah adalah x power of k. Where k is the positive integer X power of positive integer Atas uh, real number And then yang bawah X power of positive integer So it will become 0 okay? If this function uh, We set the limit as X tends to infinity So Which term In this question will become 0 So this term this term will become 0 and also this term will become 0 okay because uh, x2 divided by x square 2 is a, the real number and x power of positive number okay same with this term 6 is the uh, real number and x power of positive integer which is 1 so, dia akan jadi macam ni. 1 plus 0 square root divided by 3 minus 0. So, atas jadi square root 1 is equal to 1 divided by 3. So, this is answer for this example. Okay, I want to add another example 
where uh, the the question is limit x involve uh, x tends to infinity, but this time we put the uh, square root okay in the lower part denominator. Yang ni square root kat atas kita buat lagi satu soalan contoh yang square root dia dekat bawah okay. Okay, the example is a uh, limit x tends to infinity okay 2 plus y divide by 6y square uh, minus 7 and then square root here saya so, letak kat sini negative eh negative infinity oh kejap eh Okay, you all sorry, ada pembetulan sikit untuk yang example 1.28. Okay, each time you you are you are facing this problem, limit uh, x approach pos, uh, infinity and the function is with square root. Okay, with square root. So, kita kena divide the term with the highest order in the denominator kan. Tapi, uh, term yang kita bahagikan tu, kita kena letak absolute value kat sini ok absolute value absolute value ok kena letak absolute value and then uh, sama macam tadi lah uh, kalau absolute value eh, kenapa letak absolute value kita tengok dekat sini kalau positive infinity so absolute value dia positif so dekat sini x ni kita letak positif positif so x kat sini pun tadi positif kalau x tends to negative infinity so this absolute value will become negative so dekat sini akan negative so negative negative dia akan jadi positif kat sini ok yang ni pun sama positif x atas bawah ni negative x so dekat sini akan jadi negative 3 ok ingat eh untuk soalan uh, limit at infinity function dia ada square root so when we want to divide the each term with the highest order in the denominator okay so the highest order in the denominator tu kita kena letak absolute value okay divide by absolute value absolute value tu kemudian kita kena tukar sama ada dia positif ataupun negatif based on the infinity yang limit tadi tu kalau limit dia positive infinity positive x value lah kalau negative infinity negative x value so sebab itulah next example ni saya tukar kepada negative infinity okay negative infinity and also this function is involving square root okay okay so we need to uh, divide each of this term with y power of 1 okay awak tengok dekat sini denominator adalah di bawah the highest order of this denominator is y square eh y kuasa 2 eh y kuasa 2 y uh, y square okay and then awak tengok ada square root so actually the, the highest order of the denominator is not y square because it has square root so y square is if we square root it it will become y power of 1 so meaning that the highest power of the denominator the highest order of the denominator is y power of 1 so that's why i divide all this term with y power of 1 so 2 divided by y power of 1 of course we have to uh, letak dekat sini absolute value macam saya cakap tadi and then pl plus y divided by absolute value y and then pecahan bahagian bawah pecahan pun sama all of these items in the uh, fra uh, in the square root okey kita akan bahagi dengan absolute value y then as i mentioned before if our uh, limit extends to negative infinity so all of this absolute value will become negative
Okay. And then we uh, simplify the upper part. It will become negative 2 divided by y minus 1. Okay. And the lower part, sama macam uh, the, the previous uh, example tadi. Okay. Yang ni, negative y ni, kita kena letak dia dalam bentuk square root juga sebab nak samakan dengan yang ni. So, each time kita nak letak square root, kita kena square kan dia. Eh, ingat eh, macam tadi, square root dan square sekali. Okay. Negatif Y. Okay. Square root dengan square sekali. Macam ni. Okay, so bila dah, uh, dah ada square root atas bawah, kita boleh gabungkan dia lah. Macam ni, okay. Then we simplify. Okay, dekat sini akan jadi negative 6. Ini akan jadi plus 7 divided by y square. Square root. Sorry, saya ada tersalah sikit. Okay, dekat sini eh. Negative y. Bila square. Okay, negative y darab negative y. Kan, negatif, negatif, darat dua kali dia akan jadi positif. So, kat sini positif eh. Sini positif. Sini pun positif. Okay, sebab apa? Negatif Y kuasa dua. Akan jadi Y square. Positif Y square. So, kat sini akan jadi positif 6. Okay, minus. Okay. And then we apply, kita tengok yang macam tadi, term mana yang akan jadi zero. Okay, term yang akan jadi 0 adalah yang ni. Okay, sebab atas dia real number which is negative 2 and bawah dia adalah y power of positive integer, y power of 1. So, ni akan jadi 0. Yang ni pun term ni akan jadi 0 which is uh, atas dia real number 7 and bawah dia y power of positive integer which is positive integer 2. So, ini jadi 0, ini jadi 0. So, Solution dia, next sol, uh, next working solution dia adalah kita terus jadikan 0 minus 1 divide by 6 minus 0 square root. So, kita akan dapat jawapan negatif 1 divide by square root 6. Okay. So, uh, itu sahaja example yang saya akan uh, saya tunjuk untuk video kali ini which is uh, the subtopic for week 2 so you all boleh buat uh, exercise yang saya akan bagi dekat telegram group kalau saya terlupa tolong bagi tahu eh uh, dan exercise tu kita akan bincang dekat dalam tutorial class okay exercise uh, all the questions about limit at infinity okay assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh